Let's go. This is the only bronze award that I will ever accept. For wrestling legend Dan Gable, a statue in his honor isn't defined by what mineral it's made of, but what it makes others make of themselves. I know what he's meant to me personally, and I know that when I walk into this building every day, Coach Gable's with me in my mind. That last statement down there is what it's really about. It's about people that want to be a part of something great in the future. That's what it's about. Gable's presence and legacy in Iowa City have helped shape the past and present of countless athletes, and not just wrestlers. Coach Gable's obviously, you know, a role model, a uh, mentor, uh, and, you know, I can call him a, a, a friend, which is, you know, an honor. When you leave the state of Iowa, people say, oh, you're from Iowa, and, uh, you know, Dan Gable, and, uh, it's, it's, you know, he signifies what it means to be a, uh, an Iowan and a Hawkeye. And I remember coming here in 1972, because I knew Gable was going to be here as an assistant coach, and and I haven't left Iowa City since. So he's been a great influence on my life and the way I coach and the type of person I am to this very day. Now, after the statue was unveiled, Iowa head coach Tom Brands actually took some time out of his speech to talk to the statue. Looked it right in the eye, and he told it that it better be tough because it represents a man that has embodied toughness, not just in Iowa City, but around the wrestling world. Covering the corridor at Carver Hawkeye Arena, Mitch Vick, Fox News at 9.